Hi there, and welcome to my empty desk still. Now, in this bad times of weather, in winter, we do indoor flying, and literally just before COVID struck down, I bought this Minim RC little plane, and uh, it's got a little receiver just there, a couple of servos, and it's a profile cub, as you can see, it's got no, and, uh, Literally, I'd finished building it the week before all the indoor venues shut because of COVID. So I had to wait nearly two years to actually get to fly this. And so in the last month, I've flown this quite a few times indoors and it's an absolute blast. It flies brilliant, but it is very basic. So I thought I'd give a UK builder a chance try building maybe a slightly better one so what I've bought is this it's the micro aces scrappy stag now they're not cheap cheap but they're really beautifully produced however I may have bitten off more than I can chew at this time this it comes with an absolutely brilliant manual and as you can see from all the part layouts there's an awful lot of bits rather than show you that let me show you all the parts that came in the kit uh, we'll, st we'll start with the prettiest bit which is the main body a bit of glare there see if I can get rid of that glare a little bit there we are a bit better this here, and you can see it's full colour printed, very detailed printed and laser cut, not printed on both sides this one. So that's made of, uh, I believe, one millimetre depth one. Then we have, oops, the wings, again, I think these are one millimetre depth one. This is one set of wings on one side. And these are printed on both sides. So you get in a full color print. Here's the other wing. And you can see that it's again, beautifully printed. There's uh, many parts, including little spars. You can see just coming along here. There's spaces where the spar goes in to give the profile to the wing, where it folds over in sort of flight test style. And uh, the internal parts of the plane are made of this like two millimeter depth one. You see it's a little bit thicker. And these are things like, these give you the main internals that the body wraps around. You have to stick all these together. They're recommending Yuhu Paw, which I think the Americans call, well, it's very similar to uh, Phone Tack, I believe. And this, this is printed on a very thin plastic sheet. And this provides a little bit more strength to some of the other parts on the hair. And again, very detailed. Very detailed printed, lots of beautiful colour. And finally, you get some stickers, which are used for things like hinging the tail planes and the rudder and uh, the like. So again, they're all, as you can see, all cut, ready for you. And along with that, that's you can buy just the kit like that. But what's the use of the kit without the electronics? So they sell you, they can sell you, you can also include in the kit, this, well, not the battery, which is in this case, a Spectrum compatible receiver with two servos built in, an ESC for a brush geared motor for the front, propeller, 
and it has, you can also attach two more servos should you wish that's absolutely beautiful and I've, uh, I've already checked and tested this this works right fine and that runs they recommend uh, 100 to 300 so these are 150 like one cell lipos I'm going to be running it on so that's it this is what I've bought and uh, I hope to get it flying fairly soon if I can build it it's quite involved and I don't know if you'd like me to do like a oh yeah sorry the other hardware parts which include magnets you've got your push rods preformed at, at one end don't know if you can see that they are preformed at one end there. two push rods little foam wheels I wondered what they were at first I thought what's these foam balls but when they squish down they actually produce a little foam wheel, wheel on the hub uh, carbon spar and uh, another two car couple of pieces of carbon there the thicker one being the axle I believe and other bits and bobs oh yes yeah, so there's also a small plywood uh, what do I call it the frame for the motor firewall so I'm going to video myself building this I don't know if you would be interested in seeing that I might do a bit of time lapse and uh, show you how it gets on and then hopefully I'll try and get somebody to video at the indoor venue in Leeds where I fly and uh, we'll see how we do that's for now bye